tonight. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Old Rich is on the play with Huru. Let's see how that plays out. What do you think of this deck so far, BK? Huru deck? Yeah. Have you seen one like this before? It's my first thought. No, no. It's my <laughs> first. I mean, I, you know, when we're working, on, we're talking about um, sort of like set 11 expedition. And so this is a format that I've played a lot of, but a lot of my experiences were more a long time ago with it. Yeah. And I've never, I'm, it's possible at one point I built a deck like this, but if I did, I don't remember it. And it looks really cool. It's got a lot of sweet cards. I love you, Lixa. Um, I'm all about that wisdom of Elder's life. And so I'm, I'm, I'm just <laughs> excited to see how it's going to play out. I will say, though, that there is one card in this deck that I am getting to see in action in a tournament for the first time. And that's Quinn Master Tracker. Yeah. And um, I, was I was involved with the working on that card a little bit, but I didn't lead the design process on that card. Um, it was led by a new member, a new old member to the design team, somebody who just joined us back in the last couple of months, uh, Patrick Sullivan. And so um, I'm thrilled with how that one turned out personally. I hope other people are enjoying it too. It's cool seeing it show up in this event and we're going to see what it gets to do for the first time. Absolutely. Pretty fascinating stuff. Old Rich here. Interesting card. Sandstorm Titan though. I mean, Smite will take care of Sandstorm Titan. That's a pretty clean answer to that. These cover from the storms will not. Uh, Island Strikes also do it. So we, we talked earlier about how Expedition was limited by the removal that they had, right? And yep. how it hit a lot of small things. But look at Old Rich's take on removal. Smite Island's Choice. <laughs> it says, all right, well, I have answers now for bigger things if I need to. I like the I like the variations on the removal package in this deck. Absolutely. And let's talk about Island's Choice for a moment because that card seems fantastic to me. Not only does it kill a lot of these big units, but we've seen D'Angelo's might be a huge thing so far in the format, and it looks like it's going to be great there. It's but a power of Builder's let's... Decree, too, right? If they were going against, like, the Combray deck, if they am right. amplify this, it counters that. Well, it looks like we're in Expedition, but yeah, if you play Island's Choice and Throat, it'll do it there, right? Yeah. It does, it does it all. Now, what, Island, what Island's Choice and Smite doesn't do is neither one of them does anything about an Azindal Mastermind mm. being played and flipped up um okay and yeah and so we're gonna see that sort of do its thing it's gonna play a spell from both players decks it grabbed the ulixa from the other side Whew. that's a good one to hit <laughs> it can be if they had a bunch of six cost cards in hand like a bunch of d'angelo's mites it would have really messed with their own hand ulixa's summon effect hits both sides so there's a lot going on here um but let's just talk about the defile <laughs> but yeah ulixa would have if they had a D'Angelo's Might, it would have transformed it into their own hand into a random card of the same faction. <laughs> that's interesting, yeah. Well, so yeah. I got, we're kind of lucky that didn't hit anything, but that's interesting. All right, following well, up with a Molder Muck. It, it could be lucky, but what if it turned it into an even better random <laughs> card of the faction? You never know. That's true. All right, so we're going to see Builder's Decree here. It, this is going to be nice. It's going to be pretty big. It's going to you know probably lock out either Banish or the Mandevilla and get us a 5-5. Five -five. And so now if Derek wants to get through, they could Mandevilla, but it's just going to kill the Mandevilla itself. You like how they named Banish and then Derek Davis top deck to Banish? Shut two yeah. cards down for yeah. one card. Gotta love it. Play with a variety of cards. It'll be better against Builder's Decree. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mandevilla is going to take uh, out the Sentinel. Just a clean, just a clean kill it one for one and then attack in for seven. Get your second copy of Muldermuck. Huru Blueprint's going to be played here for Old Rich to keep developing. And yeah, you know, we're in Expedition, Asterisk Expedition, because uh, who knows what, <laughs> what might get flipped off of that in I these know. direct challenges. No, and no one has ever given me the feedback that you would be that you might give me about that uh that that matter before. So I don't know what <laughs> you're I, I don't know what you're talking about it. <laughs> It's uh, it's 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 on a list, and it is uh, always in in the uh, in the range. So, <laughs> I just speak for the BPLVK. I'm just a megaphone. <laughs> I know, man. I know it. <laughs> All right. So, Old Rich has cover from the storm that can take care of these two Molder Mucks. Doesn't hit the Elixir here. I also have Smite, which can take care of that, or your own Elixir. So, interesting decisions here for Old Rich. How you want to play this out? Just gonna pass the turn and not play any of them. Yeah, I, I think they're feeling pretty good about things. You know, they're going to take a hit this turn, but then next turn, they're hoping to sweep a ton of things um, with that cover from the storm. And then they can also smite potentially the Uleeks on the other side. We're going to see a speed grafter come down. Um, 
that is going to go and get car uh predatory chargesaur. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I gotta mean, say I, it's it's really catching on. I just it's really nice. People talk about this combo as predatory chargesaur. I I mentioned that earlier. The speedcrafts are giving these huge things charge, including the the chargesaur himself, the big dino. It's good. We've seen it. pretty much every big unit that's we grab from the market off of a speedcrafter. I'm like, oh wow, that gets way better with charge. Oh yep, yeah, that one too. <laughs> Turns out that's just a good synergy. Yeah. There. All right, so now the big test. The biggest question that the community has always wanted to know from you, BK, is, is how do you pronounce it? Well, right. I think it's important to know that I, I don't, I'm not actually the authority on these <laughs> things. Um, I, I, I do, well, I am more focused on gameplay and card file things than I am on lore and world building things. Um, I will try to get an answer for you on that, but mm. I've always called it Decro. Decro, Dicro, Dichiro. Probably, probably Decro. I have ne no one. I, I, I'm not sure. It's possible I'm not pronouncing it the right way, but I've never heard anyone say with the 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 like the the chi sound like cheese like Dicro. Yeah. But maybe. But maybe I. I'll get back to you. <laughs> anyway, I'll, I'll, it doesn't matter. I promise that's in the <laughs> next. Here's what. Here's what I'll promise to chat. In the next week on Discord, I will reveal the official pronunciation. Wow for that card you heard it here first and all of the other cards that have its name because <laughs> i know there's a bunch of cards that have decro's name on it and i want to make sure you guys can say it the way that people say it in the world of bastion wow well that is that is quite the promise and, and we appreciate that but it didn't even matter because it wasn't long for this world because the elixir nope. changed it to a cent to market well cover from the storm is going to be a clean sweep here look at that that was 11 cards taken out there and then you can follow up with another elixir the unspoken terror herself. Indeed. Or itself. It's I will awesome. also find out the preferred pronouns for you, Lixa. <laughs> that is a topic that has definitely never been discussed, though. <laughs> Not in any room I've been in. At least in any room I've been in. I can't say no one's ever discussed I, it. I don't but think no one ever came to me one day and was like, look, for the upcoming tournament, we want you to know these are Ulyx's preferred pronouns. Yeah, I don't think it's come up on TNE before, but it's very good to know. We are very respectful of people's pronouns on this show. Absolutely. So, you know... Alexa. It's such an easy thing to change. Why not? Absolutely. If somebody wants... Yes. So, Speed Grafter coming back, and because you were able to get that back with Sinister Rumors means that Derek Davis can go to the market again. You got a Kanya Ironthorn Envoy, a Valiant Guardian, as well as a couple of disruptive spells, but presumably going to be one of the big units. And there we go. Kanya Ironthorn Envoy is going to be with charge, thanks to that Speed Grafter. Ooh, Lord Steyer's Tower. Haven't seen that one in a little ways, but still a very powerful card, even at five. We're going to start off with yep. Stairs Beckoning. Let's get a pair of 1-1 one, one Flyers. Protects itself very well. It does, it does. I mean, the, between the 1-1 the one, one Flyers being able to chump larger units and then the curfew enforcement being able to shrink if it's like a wide board or smaller mm -hmm. units, um, right. very durable, robust site, and ultimately trying to get you to that Rota Stairs adjutant who's uh, sort of living up there and running things for Lord Stire in, in his tower, in their tower, I suppose. For for someone who says they don't work with the lore, you're you're pretty good at it, BK. You're giving us you're giving us some deep dives here. Well, there's certain things that I like really need to know about in order to do my job well, mm -hmm. and there's certain things where it's like, I it's not as important. It doesn't mean that the world hasn't been fleshed out, but it's like, if I'm if I'm working on Lord Stire's tower and it's a site we're working on, I really need to know what that represents in the world of Bastion, who's living there, what kinds of things they're doing and running in the world. And that'll help me try to make a site which is more in line with what's going on. And sort of Lord Steyer is sort of the person who is sort of the more like almost military uh, law enforcement side of things in the world. And that informs which sort of spells we look at when we're developing the card. So it's not that I don't know anything. It's oh, just that's great. there's certain things where it's like, okay, I got it. Cool. And then other things where it's like, oh, interesting. Could you tell me more about all of this? So yeah, that way no, I, I can try to make insight. it match better with the designs. Yeah. Really good insight there for sure. So Derek Davis, smelling the blood in the water, was just attacking face there, ignoring the Steyer's eyes, which means that Old Rich jump locked one and then went down to three health and then played the curfew enforcement mode here. And then it's going to follow up with a Sky Sweeper, also another blueprints in hand. So presumably going to play that one out just for good measure. Uh, if you're not familiar with Sky Sweeper, it's a 2-2 two, two for 3 stealth ultimate. At the start of your turn, discard a card and reveal it to give it plus 2, plus 2 in flying. So it starts as a 2-2. Two, two. If it sticks around on your turn without being flipped, it becomes a 4-4 four, four flyer. 
And, and this game is just getting super close right now. I mean, the the VAR's favor for Derek could take out the could potentially take out the one one flyer, but wow, looks like we're gonna attack first. There's also a question of do you want to go to the site or do you want to go face? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going face gonna again. Go face. Just like last time, Derek Davis saying, "Nope, I'm gonna kill you before this site before this site goes off." That's their goal. Now, because at least. the sky sweeper blocked, it's not gonna get that ultimate at the start of next turn. Right, and that's actually gonna be nice as the Savara's favor is gonna pick that off now and then follow up with a Sandstorm Titan. I think this was really carefully played by Derek. They managed to wipe out the entire board, and now I don't think yeah, it's the Ironclad Oath does nothing. Oath, yeah. And yeah, Derek really set this up for a turn two, a two turn lethal. If they wanted the best attack that turn, it's easy. You just vi you just var his favor the one one. But instead, they set things up well for the following turn. Yeah, well done, uh, Derek Davis winning that one. Here we can take a look at old Riches who are mid range deck. But gotta give Derek Davis credit. They have played I think five matches in a row with this expedition deck and have been doing really well with it. Have played some good players. Have played a variety of different matchups, honestly, and has really been been showing off. It's been good for them. Yeah, I, I got to be honest. I really, I'm, I'm loving the structure that you all picked out for this tournament. I think it's so cool that, you know, maybe you get knocked down and thrown, but then you're, if your expedition's strong, you go on a run here. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, it's like you might need to go back to that throne deck. And it's, I think it's a really cool way to structure a tournament to take advantage of both of Eternal's major constructed formats, throne and expedition. Yeah, we appreciate that. And, that. and that was definitely the goal, right? We wanted to make sure that the Invitational was both exciting and interesting and a fun format to watch, but also something that tested both formats, right? We don't want it to be like, oh, well, I've just got this broken throne deck, so I win everything. Although, you know, JNL may pull that off, <laughs> but <laughs> that's fine. Uh, really, yeah, test it's kind of funny, though. right? Like, yeah. did, did uh, honestly, did JNL have to play with their expedition deck? Not at all? yet, not yet. So that is something we we noted, and that was some feedback from players. But we still thought that you know, if in that case, if somebody ends up running the whole table, then more credit to them. But yeah, ever all 15 other players have to play with both formats. But if Derek Davis or Old Rich, whoever wins this, is able to upset JNL in the first match of the finals, we are going to the double the double grand finals, which would be expedition in that case. All right. So uh looking at this opening hand for Old Rich, I mean this doesn't seem like it's the fastest matchup, but it's not exactly um the, where exactly I'd love to be, you know, I'd love to have something that I could do productive early. And so they're going to toss it back. And actually, they went down to six. Yeah, hmm. went down to I, six I on did, that. Yeah, that, that's a tough one. It's a tough call anytime you're going down to six. And no wonder they sort of spend an extra minute there thinking about it. Um, I mean, this hand's fine. It's got a couple of interactive cards, a builder's decree to work towards. But I can't say that this is sort of like anything um, special, so to speak. All right, Derek Davis is going to start things off with an open way supplier. Just get a little bit of ramp going. Those four drops are really, really impactful for Derek Davis. So just being able to skip the three spot and land like a Sandstorm Titan on turn three, that's pretty good. Yep, sure is. Now, don't worry Where's about some of the, the elders, though, for Old Rich. It's going to help them recover from the fact that they had to go down to six this game. Picking up a couple co cover from the storm, if they could play him in the same turn, yeah, could wipe card, out everything. That card does not seem perfect for this matchup. It seems like Zenon's gonna have gonna go above and beyond, a little bit bigger and better than what cover the storm can do. Not that it can't clean up some Mulder Mox and you know some of the early uh, the early ramp creature units, but yeah, it's not really the best in this matchup. And yeah, it's not gonna hit this Azendel either. But yeah, and I, I think you're okay. totally right. Yeah, you're good. Uh, it's just it doesn't do any, anything perfectly cover from the storm but it does a couple of jobs well for you um and i i think the fact that even in a you know maybe it's better when you're playing against like the league explorers of the world but the fact that it or the hound masters but the fact that it's still pretty useful against motor muck allows you to sort of play it in your starting deck have it be useful in a variety of matchups even if it isn't the ace and uh i think that's something that advanced deck builders understand is like you're not literally trying to play with like the cards that are the best all in every matchup. You, it's okay to have some cards which are really good in some matchups and others which are really good in others, and then some which are sort of just kind of medium to sort of smooth things out in between. Absolutely. <clears throat> For those, uh, don't worry about the, the hand at the top here. Just look at the hand cam over here. We have that for you. Only five cards in Derek Davis's hand, not 12. 
Um, so just keep an eye on the hand cam. It's got two copies of Banish, a Speed Grafter, a Moldermuck, and a Sandstorm Titan still left to deploy. And I think notably is almost every single one of those units dodges what Old Rich has in hand. The Moldermucks, Moldermucks can get hit by the cover from the storm. Speed Grafters can, but they can go to the market first. So that's one thing I've liked about this Xenon deck is that every card, every card in the Xenon deck or every threat in the Xenon deck is either does something right away, like Speed Graft can go to the market, your Javon can start, you know, pumping out units, or is big enough, like a charge unit or even a Sandstorm Titan to sort of dodge a lot of the removal. So it's really hard to go toe for toe and one for one against the Xenon deck because their threats are either out outclassing or they do some sort of value and it's really it's kind of a, your classic mid-range of play things that give me ex extra value and make it really hard for my opponent to play a one-for-one -one game and then just d'angelo oh. to top it off you know <laughs> oh yeah i mean it's a it's a whole big thing going on over here meanwhile for old rich on the other hand they've got some builders decrees they've got the power to amplify it and so even though there's going to be a speed grafter going and getting a um <laughs> Actually, getting express route express, that time. Yeah, yeah, express route. Going for the that disruption. is um. I yeah. I mean, if we if you want to talk about fun cards, um, like that card was literally like, what if we had a removal spell in Bastion that was about throwing somebody down the giant oh. elevator that sort of lives at the heart <laughs> of Bastion, the Kyojo elevator, and um, and so that was just a pure like top down design to what would happen if you got thrown down the Kyojo elevator. I love it. That's hilarious. You, you're, you're taking the express route to the first floor, as they say. <laughs> and the art backs it up. Look at that express route. Throw, throw that Sentinel down the tower and hit in for seven there. That's going to put Old Rich down to eight. Now Old Rich yeah, can I mean, survive Old here. Rich... It's not over this turn. Old Rich has ways to survive, but Derek Davis again yeah. putting on that pressure. And uh, Old Rich going to go with the Builder's Decree, not Amplified here, playing the Jada instead, trying to get some extra power. They're going to lock out the Moldermuck as well. A second Speed Grafter is, could come down, and we could see an Alpha attack here. And sort of, you know, Jada Peacekeeper looks so big and menacing as a 4-5, but when your opponent wants to go wide, they can definitely attack into it. Um, and now the way Derek could do that is play second Speed Grafter, attack with everything. But instead, we're just going to see a very reasonable attack with Sandstorm Titan. Eat that Jada. Old Rich gets a power, um, and we and and good things are sort of happening here for for both players. But I like the good things happening for Derek Davis a lot more right now. <laughs> Absolutely, I would agree with that. Uh, one other thing, we wanted to give you guys a little bit of a shout out and a thank you. Seeing the runes on the Builder's Decree cards that have been blocked out in the hand cam. Adding those runes as sort of like a mini countdown, as sort of a bonus, and then especially on, I think someone made a change after the little seeds to show like the sprouting seeds that helped you understand yep. like how many turns they were. Those little effects were so good, and we at TNE in the chat and the community really appreciated those because we've commented those on like how much how helpful it is to understand something like that with just those little touches. That little change to little seed made it so much easier to follow and made it so much easier to watch these games and comment on them because it was like, oh, that that's awesome. Like that makes sense. It's so obvious when you look at it, and, and those little touches I think go a long way. So thank you guys for coming up with that. Yeah, and, and you know, and sometimes changes like that just come about because um, we have a feedback tool in client we could show people in between rounds. Let's let's finish up this game first, and then we could talk about that. As we're going to see a rune of teleportation sort of bounce the sentinel back to hand once again. Another attack with sandstorm titan and speed grafter, and I, I think old rich has run out of time to try to stabilize these boards. Maybe Quinn Master Tracker could have done it. The new promo card in the client this week. You get <laughs> you get a copy with the, with your first PVP win of the day. But unfortunately, uh, it didn't show up in time for Old Rich and Derek Davis. It looks like they're moving on here. Am 